Hello guys, in this video, I am going to show you a very interesting tool which seems quite useful. This tool, which is called as Large Model Proxy, is designed to make it easy to run multiple resource-heavy large models on the same machine with limited amount of VRAM or other resources. The way it works is quite interesting. It listens on a dedicated port for each proxied large language model making them always available to the clients connecting to these ports. So upon receiving a connection on a specific port, if LLM is not already started, it will verify if the required resources are available to start the corresponding LLM. If resources are not available, it will automatically stop the least recently used LLM to free up contested resources. Then it starts a large language model and then wait for LLM to be available on the specified port. It waits for two seconds and in the future this is going to be replaced by a proper health check. After that it will proxy the connection from LLM to the client that's connected to it. To the client this should be fully transparent with the only exception being that receiving any data on the connection takes longer if LLM had to be spun up. So for example if you're running um, something like COBOL AI or you're running some automatic uh, 111 or any other tool uh, as a front end or back end of LLM but you don't have much VRAM which is a case with many many people these days then what this large model proxy does it proxies and throttles and resource manage your LLM requests now one interesting bit here is that our favorite tool Olama that it does is automatically that's right so olama has this built in you can run multiple models and specify the maximum concurrently loaded models and olama is going to calculate if it needs to unload any model before loading any new models when requested so need, no need for multiple ports etc and you can also choose which model to load simply by providing it in the request no editing config files each time you add a new model so that is one thing you need to be aware of but still that is for olama what if you are running other tools like automatic 1111 and then various other tools so if you don't want to tie in to olama i think this is good tool and i think very very early days this is going to evolve more and i'm quite hopeful that we will also see more tools like this so let's see how we can get it installed before i do that let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices you can go to their website from the link which i will give in video's description plus you will also get a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus so let me take you to my local machine and then I will show you how to get it installed. So this is where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card of this 48 GPU of VRAM. Let me make it proper. Let me clear the screen and then hopefully now you'll be able to see it properly. There you go. Okay, so now you know how it looks like. Another thing you would need for this to run is Go language because this is built in the Go. So let me show you how you can install Go on Ubuntu. So first up, let's run this command to remove any existing Go and then uh, download the Go and install it here after unzipping it. So that was one method. Another method, if you prefer, you can also install it with sudo apt install golango. It is going to install it on your local system so whichever method you prefer let's wait for it to get installed and that is done let me clear the screen from here and then you can simply do go version to check its version there you go so we have go installed now next up let's git clone the repo of large model proxy it's a small repo that's done and i will also drop the link to it in video's description let's cd into it and now you can build this project with the help of go so let me build it and once you run that it is going to build it and that is done and make sure that you have a latest version of go 
earlier i installed the version 19 but then i had to upgrade it to 1.22 and for that all you need to do is to go to their goes website and then wget and download the latest go okay so that is all done now as a next step you would need to define your config.json so simply create it and then open it here in your editor and from there simply paste or use this config here so this is just a sample config now in this one just keep these above stuff one this is um, their vram gpu i, I have 48000 but i'm just going to keep it like this or you could remove it if you like something uh, you want to give and then this is the automatic for one it r runs on this default board and this is a command for it this is one tool and then for example if you are also running llama.cpp on this board you can give it here and then you can just uh, use this json format to put in as many tool as you like and then you save it here once you save it let me clear the screen then from the root of this github repo all you need to do is to run this command dot slash large model proxy dash c config dot json if you don't specify the this switch dash c then it will search for config dot json in your local root directory and then this starts your proxy so let me go up here you see that it is now listening on port this sorry let me go up listening on port this listening on there and then it is just going to see if it is available because my uh, this table diffusion is not running that is why it is throwing this error otherwise it is running here so whatever tool you want you can simply go and put it at this config.json you can even change the ports here you can even specify your vram gpu how much you want to give it to it for example if you're running image models here maybe give it more if you are just running text based then give it less and then you can uh, also go with your quads for example if you are using higher quad then maybe you can increase the size of vram if not you can decrease it and another cool thing which i like is that you can specify your parameters with the commands so all we are doing we are simply running these servers with these commands and then you can also control your ram usage here so pretty nifty tool i would say uh, give it give us a lot of grunt for example if we have a big team and we are constrained on gpus you simply run this proxy and then use your resource management as per your own choice among your tools so all in all a really good tool so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think i will drop the link to it in video description if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.